What we want to get into inside my UE, I have with me Mr. Julian Henry, Program Manager, the Entrepreneurial Unit, Department of Management Studies, Faculty of Social Sciences at mm -hmm. the University of the West Indies. Good morning and welcome. Morning, morning. So, you are head of the Entrepreneurial Unit. Um, what does this unit do and what is it all about? Right, so the Entrepreneurial Unit is a subunit within the Department of Management Studies, which falls under the Faculty of Social Sciences. Mm -hmm. It's a unit that provides entrepreneurial support to students, alumni, staff, as well as the general public. The support that we provide is mentorship, um, business planning, strategic planning, guidance, um, assisting with networking development, and generally helping early entrepreneurs and, and persons who are interested in getting involved in business, um, in, especially in terms of innovative, creative type of businesses, um, to get um, launched and up and running in a successful manner. So you're basically a facilitator of young entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs? Yo young and young at heart. So young at heart. People start a uh, business and mm -hmm. an enterprise at, at any age. Yes. It's whenever the, the business ideas and the juices start flowing that they're ready to start their business. At any age, we can, we can um, accommodate. So they come into you, do they come into you or fill out a form? What do they do to, to be part of it? They come straight to me. Um, they usually uh, get in contact with me via um, email. Um, or call me. Uh, my email is uh, julian.henry mm -hmm. at sta.ue.edu. Um, people get in contact with me and make an appointment and um, we sit down and uh, do an assessment diagnostic uh, on, on the entrepreneurial mindset, the idea, where they want to go and um, we, we build on that, working with the entrepreneur to develop their business plans, refine their concept to make sure it's market ready and get a minimum viable product out there into the business space. So you, you are a guiding light for, for, for entrepreneurs as well, would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah, so it's, 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 it's a lot of um, entrepreneurs and, and persons thinking of business really want that guiding support and really want that mentorship and understanding of how to, what do I do, you know, what sort of things should I need to focus on. And, and that's what we do. We provide experience. We sort of networking, network the, and, and leverage the, the resources that are available within the University of West Indies to make that available to, to our um, entrepreneurial clients. So this would be one of the things that UE is doing to develop the entrepreneurial ecosystem. Anything absolutely, else? absolutely. So this is part of a, 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 a holistic approach that the university is now taking towards developing entrepreneurship. So um, mentorship and guidance is one aspect, but also a big part of it is developing um, the entrepreneur by providing um, R&D funding um, and, and um, uh, support in terms of strengthening their intellectual property um, and um, uh, helping um, set up patents. And also we are looking at also establishing um, an entity that would provide um, equity to, to early stage startups, which is uh, also coming on stream soon. On average, how many people would come and access these services from UE? Uh, during, <laughs> during this uh, s typical semester, um, which is just about wrapping up now, um, uh -huh. it's, it's every day. I see about two or three um, uh, young entrepreneurs, usually students mm -hmm. um, uh, and, and sometimes staff, but I also get um, persons from the general public, at least a couple a week, coming to see me. Um, for guidance and, and business support. And, and I'm glad that you mentioned a lot of students come to visit you because a lot of times you hear people say that uh, a lot of young people or people come out of the universities in Trinidad and Tobago and they really have no skill. They have book knowledge, but they have no skill and aren't able to do things in the real world. Yeah, so let me defend the students on that. I mean, you're absolutely right. They're getting out there with very uh, sort of academic qualifications mm -hmm. and they're very strong on that point. The university does a good job at that. Um, but the university, I think, is now recognizing that it needs to provide more in terms of guiding and helping the students who want to become entrepreneurs. And you'll be surprised that a lot of students are very keen and very interested in becoming entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And that support that we provide, which is now available, makes that happen. Yeah, and there will be a workshop coming up soon? So that's the thing about it. Absolutely. We have a workshop coming up this Saturday. It's on entrepreneurship. We call it Entrepreneurship 101. Mm -hmm. It provides uh, some really fundamental training um, and really exciting uh, discussion um, to help entrepreneurs understand and, and, and get a really good perspective on what it takes to, to, to think about business, start a business, launch, do the planning and get up and running. Where is it taking place? What time and how can people get more information? Right. It's right on the university campus itself. It's this Saturday, Saturday the 15th. It's mm -hmm. going to be running from 9 to 3. It's a one-day workshop. Um, we have some great presenters. 
persons who want to be part of that workshop, they can email me directly. It's Julian, J U L I A N, mm -hmm. dot Henry, H E N R Y, at S T A dot U E dot Edu. So you send me that email and I book your space in, in the room. All right. Um, is it a free event? Or? It's a paid event. Paid it's event. 150. It's probably the best value you're going to get for this <laughs> type of event. You have really top notch UE lecturers providing um, really good content. We have some very exciting entrepreneurs also sharing their story and their journey of how they got there. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'll be also doing up a segment as well. Yeah, and so what next? You come to this workshop and what happens after? Oh, great. So after this workshop, really, and we encourage all participants of the workshop to, to sort of meet with me thereafter mm -hmm. to become part of what I do and how I can support and how our unit can support them um, in terms of ongoing mentorship and guidance and networking to other key entities and key, key stakeholders um, uh, and, and really building that sort of collaboration with, you know, persons who come out of the course and getting that sort of support going forward on an ongoing basis. All right, well, thank you very much, Mr. Julian Henry. And remember, you can definitely check out the University of the West Indies on Saturday from 9 to 3. Just send an email to Mr. Julian Henry to be part of this workshop that they have uh, coming up. Thank you very much for the work that you're doing in entrepreneurial development in Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. Julian Henry, Program Manager, the Entrepreneurial Unit, Department of Management Studies, Faculty of Social Sciences at the University of the West Indies. It is now